was born in Yuma, Arizona, in a ranch owned by my family. Uh, but we lost it in the Depression. That's where I witnessed the injustice suffered by the people. To be successful, we have to have an army of boycotters willing to do the hard work. The bigger the army, the bigger the success. I come here out of respect for one of the heroic figures of our time, Cesar Chavez. I, I know you did a lot of research. I'm just wondering, uh, what was the most curious thing that you discovered in doing your research for this one? I mean, there was a lot of things. It's, I think to me, what was really interesting is like, here's a person who, you know, led this movement, but like he wasn't the guy who like sought the attention, right. which is different because some, some people were okay with like, you know, having the cameras on him. And he was like kind of shy mm -hmm. and a bit of a loner and like, you know, very spiritual, vegetarian, didn't like go out of his way to be in the spotlight, so I had to treat it like that. Like, he's almost like the anti-hero in a way. Where he's like, oh, I don't want to, oh, okay, I gotta speak to these people. And he's like, because it was that much, he was fighting for people that were being bullied, you know, that he didn't, they needed a voice. Right, a reluctant so he did, hero. Yeah, a reluctant hero, yeah, and it's like, I really thought that that was cool. This was a long time ago, and the world has changed a lot, and. 40 something years or what have you. And I'm wondering, how do you want young people today? Today is the youth, because a lot of these movements, movements are driven by young people. Right. How do you want young people, what do you want them to take away from this movie? I mean, with a, I think a, a, a unified voice is definitely a strong one. And I, th I, I still think it's happening. There's like a lot of sit-ins, there's a lot of protests. The, the documentary, The Square, mm -hmm. deals with it. And they, you know, they definitely have that going. There's a lot of people in Russia. It's kind of current. We need change and then like, it's, it's not like pretending that everything's okay because everything's not okay, really. But at the end of the day, you want to make an entertaining movie so that people are like intrigued and like, you know, will come and watch it and like it. Last question. Were there times where you felt like you had to draw on the spirit of Cesar Chavez and give yourself a little si se puede? Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely prayed a lot for some reason, you know what I mean, because he did. And it's like, I don't know, I'm hopefully you see it on screen, but it's the kind of thing where you're just like, you know, you really have a conversation and, and you know, you, you feel at peace and you're like, okay, let it, let whatever happens, happens. And I kind of had that mentality the whole, the whole film.